Hey guys, this is Gabriel from the Look Digital Signage, and this means that we have something interesting for you today. Recently, we've got another good news from our dev team, and that is that they finally have completed our new app player for Windows platform, and it's huge. Since then, to be honest, there has been an incredible number of requests from Intel Inter Stick users who have already utilized these simple devices for digital signage networks. I should honestly admit that to find this seemingly common device in the digital stores turned out to be quite a challenge. That's why, can you imagine, I had to order that on eBay. In short, here is the Intel Compute Stick of one of the latest 2017 modifications for your attention. Along with it, we also got an older Linux-based model, which we also tested and it somehow works. But it has just one gigabyte of RAM, which is deadly for digital signage in 2022. So let's just rid of it and let's get back to our first option. Intel Compute Stick, powered by Intel Atom processor with two gigabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, AC generation Wi-Fi support, USB port, and Bluetooth. That is probably all the information that we can see on the box. So let's just take a look inside. Well, everything is nicely packaged. The kit includes an HDMI extender and a multi-connector power adapter right here. This is all really good. And also, there are no doubts that it has cooling fan inside. So, but please note, there is no remote or any other input device in the kit. So to set it up, you will need a mouse keyboard set that works from one USB. It's time to connect the stick to the TV. Next, we need some more time to set up the network and pass the updates. Actually, it took us inconceivable 40 minutes. But apparently there are just a lot of them since January 2017. So, when everything is ready, we go to the Look Download page and get the required app for the 32-bit version of Windows. Install it, which takes just a little time with personal updates, and then we can launch it. Next, we pass through the standard procedure of linking the device to the Look CMS by entering the six-digit code, and the screen is ready to go. Let's start from sending a simple playlist to it. Well, everything loaded pretty quickly and normally started to broadcast. Next, let's make it harder and supplement our content with a simple layout that contains a couple of streaming apps and a ticker. Here, everything is not as beautiful as we expected, given that we have 4K TV and it is really hard for this device to render several applications at once. The RAM is only 2GB and it is also used for video memory, so the result is not impressive. For such tasks, we always recommend using devices with at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, given that Windows system itself uses memory quite strongly. Well guys, here is the conclusion. This is a completely working option for simple tasks, especially for those users who already have these devices in their networks. With them, you're able to move to the look system without any problems and in the shortest possible time. But I strongly don't recommend purchasing these devices as new ones, since the market is already full of more modern, more powerful devices, even on Windows, at least on Android. And well, that's all for now. All the useful links you'll find in the description down below. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe and put your likes up. See you soon in the next video.